Rico. Pips and pips. Can I tell you how it feels? How it feels? To not be loved back when you got my heart. Yes, yes, you got it. You got it. Cause I gave 100, 100. So you gave me nothing. Nothing hit her so bad. So bad. Good morning guys, um, I'm trying to do this video in the morning because um, tonight's going to be a busy night, so yeah, um, so love hurts, um, it, it it took a while for this track to come about, um, to be totally honest, uh, Kylanda, the girl who's on the hook, um, I actually tried to get her on another song and it fell through, didn't work. Um, and I didn't think she was interested in getting on a song after that, but uh, she contacted me and said she really did want to get on one of my tracks, so I sent her this and she fell in love with it immediately. Um, uh, yeah, just another track that Rico sent me. Um, and I believe this is one of the ones that he specially made for me, though. Not, not that he sent a folder for me to pick from. So, um, so yeah, no, I mean, it was... It was a good song. Um, originally, it had three verses. Um, the first verse um, was a really pointed story. Uh, the second verse, which is now the first verse, is kind of everything, like all these objections um, to how there can't be a God um, because of all the evil in the world. And then the third verse is just talking about, like, who are we to complain? Because, you know, we are we're lucky, like, especially as Canadians or Americans, if you're watching this in America, um, we are lucky. We, as human beings, we, we don't deserve the love of God. Um, the minute we sin, we deserve eternal punishment, and God would be perfectly just to condemn us to hell at that very moment, but we're given grace, and, you know, that in itself just expels any complaint we can have <clears throat> so I don't want to go too much into the content of, of the end there but that's kind of the general gist of it and it's more of a conversation for me personally because I, I have me and my family has suffered quite a bit uh, in the in the end of the first verse on the song uh, I kind of go into a little bit about how me and my wife uh, you know we suffered a miscarriage uh, before we had our son just just recently um, and that was a, that was really hard for us. Um, so that's kind of what that, that touches on. Um, and what I ended up doing then is cutting out the first verse I originally had and then putting the second verse as the first, third is the second. And, um, <clears throat> there's a great, great, great sermon, um, couple sermons by, John Piper called um, God's Sovereignty Over Sin and God's Sovereignty Over Satan's Fall. And I took from those those two sermons um, and I basically created one little excerpt to put at the end uh, there. And it's a great, great section um, of speaking because I think we as Christians really need to recognize how grateful we need to be and how God is sovereign over all things, including sin. Um, he, he, you know, he's not caught by surprise. Um, and just how God sovereignly orchestrates all of our sin to his glory in the end, um, that is truly an amazing thing and something that we need to praise God for. So that's kind of what that track is about. Um, and to be honest, I can't even remember... Uh, particularly when I wrote it. Um, yeah, but, no, it was, it, it, yeah, it serves its purpose. Um, Rico did really good on my production. Uh, so again, get a Rico Gibson for mixing and mastering. And also, um, look down, subscribe, click the like button, thumbs up, and pre-order the album, man. Um, that's, there's also going to be a link up on iTunes, uh, pretty quick here. So if you don't want to pre-order, 
you can purchase it on iTunes um, and I'll be sure to <clears throat> do a little excerpt in one of the videos soon letting you know when that comes out so yeah man again thank you see you tomorrow I hope somebody's got some answers Like why these third world countries face disaster, huh? Or the pastor that made Christ his anchor About to finally lose the fight Cause his wife's got cancer, man Or better yet, why we have to lose our first child Miscarriage, guess God ain't find it worthwhile To bless us with a gift we never got to see him talk We ain't even get to see him flash his first smile Trust in God, man, I'm certain of that I know he loves us, but why it gotta hurt so bad, huh? Can I tell you how it feels?